You may be the most vilest person alive, but you look good on the outside. That's what Jesus told the Pharisees. He said, on the, you are like a whitewashed tomb. He said, on the outside you appear good to man. But you inside, you are evil. Hello, Newton. I come in peace. I come in the name of the Prince of Peace. The name of the Prince of Peace is Jesus Christ. And I bring you the good news of peace. The good news of peace and righteousness. That my friends, the way that you are walking today and the life that you are living today may not be pleasing to God and I am here today to tell you that God sent his son into the world and his name is Jesus Christ his name is Yeshua he gave his life as a ransom for you and me so that you and I can live with him in heaven in paradise for God so loved the world the Bible tells us that he gave his only begotten son that anyone that believe in him will not perish but they will have everlasting life for God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but will have eternal life Jesus Christ is the way the truth and the life my friends no man comes to the Father, no man comes close to God, except through Him. My friends, you and I have one thing in common. You and I have one thing in common. One day we will soon pass this life. One day you and I will breathe our last and we will be in the grave. We'll be buried. But my friend, there's a question. The question is, do you know God? Do you know God? Do you follow God? Do you walk in His ways? Do you walk according to His ways? That is the question. Because the Bible says that anyone that believes in the Son of God will be saved. It doesn't matter what you've done in the past. Anyone that is in Christ Jesus will be saved. Anyone that call on the name of the Lord will be saved it doesn't matter who you are if you come to Jesus Christ today and you confess your sins and reject your sins your ways of life the Bible said you will be forgiven your sins will be forgiven you will be made whole again you will be made whole like you've never been done be made before you and I today will have one life and that life will soon pass away but he the Bible say that does the will of God remains forever he that does the will of God remains forever the only one that will remain in this planet the only one that will have everlasting life are those who are doing the will of God and that is why I'm calling everyone today men women people from all generations from all languages we all have sinned the Bible said and we have fallen short of the glory of God and the Bible said that the only way we can be saved is by the blood of Jesus Christ is by the forgiveness of sin and that only comes through Jesus Christ the Son of God you may believe today that you are worshiping God you may believe that you know the true God Oh my friend, you'll be surprised. You'll be very surprised because Jesus said that those who know God, those who are doing the work of God, are those who believe in Him. My friends, you may think you're doing the work of God. You may be going to the temple. You may be going to, to the mosques. You may be doing all the ritual things that religion does. And you think you know God. But you realize that Jesus said that the only way you know God is by believing in Him and trusting and following his, following his footsteps. If you don't follow Jesus Christ, if you're following some other person, my friends, the Bible said that you will not 
have eternal life, that you will perish. The Bible says that you will be judged. And that is why I'm here today to call you to Christ Jesus, to call you to repentance, to say to you that you may be doing religion. You may be only doing religion, but you have not done, you have not come to know God. If you don't know Jesus Christ, my friends, all you have is just religion. And no religion will lead you, no religion will lead, will give you eternal life. No religion will lead you to God. The only person, the only way you can get to God is through a person, not through religion. It's through a person, and that person is Jesus the Christ. Only through Him you can know God. You may think you know God, but you don't. You may think you know God. The Bible said you don't. If you don't know the Son of God, you don't know God. If you're not following Jesus Christ, if you're not walking and living according to His ways, you don't know God. You can pray five times a day, you can, fa you can face uh, a geographical location named Mecca and you pray five times a day and my friend and you still may not know God you can do all those religious works and but still don't know the true and living God and that is why today I'm here to, to call you to repentance to call you to the true and living God because the only way to know the true and living God is through his son and his son came into the world Thank you. to seek and to save that which was lost. His son is called Jesus the Christ, Jesus the Messiah. He is the only way to God. Jesus saves. My friends, are you following religion? Thank you. Today, are you following a person? If you're following religion, my friend, you are lost. If you're following a person, just any person, you are lost. If you're following Jesus Christ, the Bible said you will be saved. For anyone that call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And how can they call on the name of Him whom they've never heard about? And how can they hear unless somebody preach? And that is why we are here today. So may I share Jesus' love with you? That is why we are here today. We are here to call Newton to repentance. We are here to call Newton to the living God. You may be living your life and following your religious ways. And only to find out in the end that after you're dead, you'll be standing before the throne of judgment. And God to realize that you have not known the God, the person you believe that you're worshiping, you don't even know him. Because you're following ritual, you're following what everyone else is doing. The Son of God has come down into the world and his name is Yeshua, his name is Jesus, the Christ. And he has shown us who the true God is. And we are in the true God, and we are in his Son, Jesus Christ. The true God who made the heavens and the earth. That you may believe you worshiping the God who created the heavens and the earth. There's a lot of people, there's a lot of pagan religion that worship image, idols. And they believe that I, that idol is the God who made the whole world. But they are wrong. And so they do all those things, ritual stuff, and they think they're worshiping the real God, but they find out they're not doing that. Jesus Christ said that the only way you can know the true God is through His Son. God is a spirit. And so God will not come down to you and talk to you in a bodily form because you cannot see Him. His power will destroy this planet if He comes down in His full power. So how can God communicate to a man who is flesh and who is finite and who is mortal? He sent His Word and His Word was made flesh. And that is the man whom you, we know today as Jesus Christ. He became flesh. The Word of God was made into a human flesh. The Word of God was created 
with the DNA. The Word of God was came down into our, into our life form in order to communicate with us, to tell us the truth. And Jesus Christ is His name. And He said that everyone on the side of the truth will hear His voice. Everyone on the side of the truth will hear the voice of Jesus Christ. But everyone that is on the side of error will not listen. So my friends, are you on the side of error? Or are you on the side of the truth? Because if you're on the side of the truth, your ears will be open. Your ears will be open and we're listening attentively because every one of us, my friends, will be judged. I know many here today believe in reincarnation, but I'm here to tell you reincarnation is a lie, it's not the truth. There's a day of judgment coming. There's a day of judgment coming, my friends, when everyone in the grave will rise up again to be judged. All the things that you have done in the flesh, all the lies you've ever told, all the disobedience to your parents that you've ever done, all the things you've done in the secret that you think no one knows about, God knows. He knows. And those are the things that He will judge you based on. You're not coming back as, an, as, as, a, as a donkey or as a lamb or as a king or in the next life. There are no such thing, my friends. There's only one life that you have here. And then you will be rise up again to be condemned or to be saved. And only those who know the Son of God will be saved. Only those who have given their lives to Christ, who have changed their ways, the, they are the only ones that will be saved. So my friends, if you hear my word today, what I'm saying to you today, do not harden your hearts. Do not say, I have my own religion. Because that is what it is. It's just religion. It's just ritualistic stuff that you do. But you may do all those things and you don't know the true and living God. The true and living God has sent His Son into the world. And His Jesus Christ, He came into the world not to judge the world, but to save the world. But He is coming again. And this time He's coming not to save the world, but to judge it. That is what we know today as the second coming of Jesus Christ. He's coming not to, not to save the world, but to judge the world. The first time He came was to save. And that's the message we are still preaching to you today. That you can be saved. You can come, you can know God. You can be reconciled with God, no matter how sinful you are. No matter what you've done in the past, you can still be reconciled to God. The time is right for you to come to know God. Tomorrow may be too late. You may die tonight, you don't know. We don't know the days of our lives. Only God knows when we'll, when we'll die. But you want to live. You can live in Christ Jesus. Jesus saves. Jesus saves. You can live in Christ Jesus today, my friends. You don't have to die in your sins. That is the hopeful part of it. The hopeless part of it is by you living in your sin and dying without God. That's the hopeless part of it. But I'm here to offer you hope, to tell you there's hope. There's hope. You may die today. If you don't know the Son of God, you, don't, you, don't, you will not make it into heaven. Jesus Christ is His name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Brother. You check. Take care. Jesus Christ is the one to save. Okay. My friends, it's appointed to you and me once to die. And after death comes judgment. It is appointed to you once to die. After that death, there is judgment that awaits. And God in His infinite love and care and His mercy does not want you to be condemned, does not want you to be judged, but He wants mankind to be saved. So He sent a Savior. He sent His Word into flesh so that you and I can live. 
in order to save mankind, in order to save our soul, God sent Jesus Christ as a ransom for you and for me. And anyone who calls on the name of this man, of this Jesus, can be saved. Anyone who rejects him has only himself to blame. Only one who rejects him because you and I, my friends, have free will. We have the will, we have a choice to choose, to choose to live or to die, to choose to be judged or not to be judged. You and I have that life, that will. And you and I has the will, that's the, pro, that's the promise of God that you are created with a will, the free will. I know in some places, in some religion, you taught that you don't have any free will, that you don't have any choices, but you and I have choice. We can choose to obey God, and we can choose to disobey God, but the consequences is ours. We can choose to live in God, and we can choose not to live in God, the consequences follows. Ever heard the message, the word, if you made your bed, you will lie in it. God cannot be mocked, my friend. Whatever a man or woman is sowing, that he himself would also reap. Whatever a man or woman is sowing, that man or woman will reap that same thing. The Bible says, if you are sowing according to the flesh, you will reap destruction from the flesh but if you are sowing according to the Spirit of God you will reap everlasting life and that is only in Jesus Christ Jesus Christ is the only way to God my friends despite what your religious leaders are telling you despite what people are trying to tell you Jesus Christ is the only way to God there is no other way my friends to God the true and living God, if you're actually pursuing the true God, not just any God, if you're pursuing the true and living God, Jesus Christ is the way to Him. No other way, no other path in life that can lead you to God, except Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Because He is the only begotten Son of God. He is the one who came from God, became human being. He became flesh and He lives in, um, among us and He taught us. He showed us who the true God is. And He said that anyone that believe in Him will be saved. And He told us that God loved the world that He gave His only Son. That anyone that believe in Him will not perish but will have everlasting life. Get it my friends. Anyone that believe will not perish. So that means that leaves the open door that if you don't believe, you will perish. Because there is no other way. If you have one alternative, that you are drowning, and someone throws you a life jacket, and all you have to do is grab onto it, and you decide in yourself that, you know, I don't want to grab on the life jacket, I'm okay. If you drown, your blood is on your own hands because the, the person who is trying to rescue you have already throw, made the first step to do that for you. So the same way today, my friends, if the Word of God, the only way you can have salvation is preach and you hear it and you reject it, your blood is in your own hands. So my friends, my plea with you is to turn to the living God. And that through His Son, Jesus Christ, is the only way you can be saved and come to the knowledge of truth. Do you want to turn to Him today? Do you want to give your hearing to God today to speak to you? Or do you want to close your ear off? Jesus Christ is calling. God is calling and speaking to you today. My friends, none of us is coming back again. You're not coming back as a Raja as a Raj, as a king, you're not coming back as a queen, you're not coming back in next life as a rich person. The Bible says that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory. The Bible says that there's a way that looks good in the eyes of a man,
but the ways of death it is. The Bible says that you and I, there's a day of judgment coming when all those in the grave will rise up again to be judged, to be condemned or to be given everlasting life or everlasting punishment. The choices are yours. The word of God is, speak, is being spoken. There are choices. You and I. I thought you like Isa. I thought this. I thought you worshiper of God. You try to be in Jenna. You're not gonna be in Jenna, my friends. Oh, she's giving me a finger. She thought she's a Muslim. A Muslim that gives fingers. That's interesting. Jesus Christ is the only way, my friends. It's not about putting on makeup. It's not about dressing modestly. You can dress modestly because your religion commands you to dress modestly. You can cover your hair like your religion would tell you to cover your hair to look good on the outside. But on the inside, you may not be. You may be the most vilest person alive but you look good on the outside that's what jesus told the pharisees he said on the you are like a white washed tomb he said on the outside you appear good to man but you inside you are evil jesus said jesus spoke to the pharisees he said it's not on the it's not about the outside appearance although sometimes the outside appearance shows what's on the inside but in some cases, the outside appearance confuses people. The Pharisees, Jesus said they were like whitewashed tomb. But when you dig up the tomb, it's full of dead, dead man's bone. But the outside, on the outside, the, look, the tomb looks great. Is that the kind of person you are? Are you that person? If you're that person today, Jesus Christ is calling you to repent, to turn to him that you may have everlasting life. Jesus Christ is a hope for all nation. Jesus Christ is the salvation for those who are willing to come, willing to come and take the life water free. But the enemy of our soul is busy working to create hate. To create hate to attack the people of God and to attack the message of God but Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace Jesus saves Thank you. we're here today for peace we're preaching peace to you to those who are far off I share Jesus the truth with you we'll speak peace to those who are far away and peace to those who are near. If you have wandered away from God today, the Bible is calling you today to come back, to repent. To repent and turn to Jesus Christ again. Because the day, thank you. Because the day of judgment is coming. And the day of judgment, my friends, awaits all of us. We cannot escape it. We cannot escape the day of judgment. It is awaiting all of us. Whether we like it or not, whether you and I like it or not, death will come knocking on our door someday. Whether we like it or not, all will rise up for judgment day. Even those who don't want to rise up again, even those who live and have committed suicide to try to escape life, they will live again. To be judged each one the bible say will be judged according to their ways according to their lives according to their conduct what is your conduct today is your conduct righteous is your conduct holy before god is your conduct pure before god if god looks at your life today would he find there a person who walks in his ways who follow jesus christ would that person be you or would the person be a person that is that has rejected the gospel of Jesus Christ, that have rejected the word of God? Would that be you? 
would he see a person who is religious but lost? Because yes, you can be religious but and are lost. You can be doing religious things, but you don't know God. And the Bible said to the people of the time of his people, he said, the people who handle the law don't even know me. The people who handle the, the, the word of God don't even know him. And we can see that today in many religious organizations, even some churches. We have people that actually are preaching anything else but the word of God. They don't even know God. They can tell people who live in sin that it shall be well with you. He can tell the people that walks, that, that live according to their ways, according to their flesh, that no harm will come to you if you keep on living in sinful loss. But the word of God is different. And those who follow the, the word of God will not say such things. My friends, the days are coming. The day of judgment is coming. It's near. And the Bible is calling you today to repent. Jesus Christ is calling you today to repent. To come to Him for everlasting life. Jesus says to the utmost, the Son of God is the way, the, the truth. God is the only salvation, my friends. God is the only one who can set you free. My friends, the government will not set you free from the virus. The government will not set you free from the virus. They cannot protect you. They cannot shield you from what is coming. Only Jesus Christ can set you free, can save you. And the word is to come to Him now while you still have chance, while you still have breath in your lungs, while you still have the Spirit flowing through your body. You need to come, you need to pay attention to the Word of God. You need to be obedient to His ways, to His calling. Do not throw your ears away. Do not say, I'll have tomorrow. I'll have other days. Do not say, I have my own religion. I can just follow my own religion. My friends, there are people today that have died following their own religion. But they don't know God. There are people out there doing religious things. They believe that they're doing the work of God. But they have died. And they perish. The Bible said they asked Jesus, how can we do the work of God? Jesus say, answered them and said, by believing in Him whom God has sent. By believing in the Son of God. That's how you can know God. And that's how you can do the work of God. Not religion. Religion will not save you. Religion only marks the water. Jesus saves. Only Jesus can save. Only Jesus can set you free. Only Jesus can save. Only Jesus can save. Okay. Problems. Only Jesus can save. Jesus saves. Not the government. Only Jesus can save. My friends, the grave awaits all of us. The grave awaits all of us. The death is coming to all of us. To some, it will be sooner. To some, it will be later. But eventually, eventually it will come. Death is the appointment, the only appointment that you and I will make 100% of it. There is no missing appointment with death. The Bible said after death comes judgment. After death comes judgment. It is appointed to a man, to a person, wants to die. And after death will come judgment. And the Bible said, I saw great and small standing before the throne. And books were open, and that's the book of life. And the dead were judged according to that which was written in the book. And those whose name are found now written in the book of life were cast into the lake of fire. And that is the second judgment, second death. Are you part of those who will be judged and condemned? Or are you part of those who will receive everlasting life because they know 
Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Because they trust in Him with all their hearts, because they follow the ways of God, because they did the work of God, or are you going to rise up to be condemned because you have lived your life selfishly, because you have followed your own imaginations, because you have followed your own ways? Yes, you're welcome. Okay. Remember there are ways the Bible said that lose good in the eyes of a man, but in the end of it is death. There's a way that looks good in the eyes of a man or in the eyes of a woman, but the end of it is death. And God does not want you to follow that way of death. He wants you to live. He wants you to live. He wants you to follow the way of life. And the ways of and the way of life is in Jesus Christ. You will not find this way of life anywhere else, my friends. You will not find this way of life anywhere else. Do not follow your atheistic professors that tells you that there is no God. Jesus says. Your atheistic professors, will be, they're lying to you. They're telling you there is no God. They're telling you that you're a process of evolution, which is false. 100% false. But they're peddling it today in our schools. Something that was a theory. It's now being, being pushed as a fact. My friends, on a judgment day, my voice to you will be, will be a soothing, will be, a, will be, a, will be a, a refreshment of fresh water. Today, my voice may be sounding to you like a aggravating, triggering. But on the judgment day, my friend, in the lake of fire, you will want to hear this kind of things and you will not hear it. It won't, it won't be a distress to you because you now have seen the real results of your sins. Jesus Christ is the only way to God, my friends. Turn to Him and live. Turn to Him and live. Trust in Him with all your hearts. Do not rely on your own understanding. In all your ways, you must acknowledge God. And He Himself will direct your path. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Do not follow the foolishness of this world. For the foolishness of this world, for the wisdom of this world, my friends, the Bible said, is, uh, is foolishness to God. The wisdom of this world is foolishness to God. All the scientific term, protons, neurons, all of these names, Greek names that they're given to all of these terms, our foolishness before God. For the Bible has said, the Bible said that a fool has said in his heart that there is no God. A fool has said in his heart there is no God. See, only the person who feels in their heart that there is no God is a foolish man. Can only be a foolish man. The Bible said, that a foolish man because of the pride of his heart does not seek God. All in his thoughts, there is no God in his thoughts. All in his mind is that there is no God. Are you that person today? Jesus Christ the Son of God is calling you. Jesus Christ the Son of God is calling you. He's the only way to God. He's the only way to truth and the life. You cannot come to God if you don't have Jesus. You cannot come to God if you don't know Jesus Christ. You cannot come to God if you don't know the Son of God. Contrary, my friends, to what you are being told, contrary to the fact, to the, to the, to the, to the truth that we are telling you today, many are telling you that there's, there are multiple ways to God. And some people are telling you, the atheists are telling you there is no God. The religiosity person is telling you that there are multiple ways to God. And we tell you that there is a way to God and there is only one way to God. To a person who does not know God, 
it is foolishness, but to those who are turning to God, it is a drink of fresh water. Do you know God? Do you know God? Are you known by Him? The Bible says that wisdom calls out from the street corners. From the gate of the city, the wisdom cry out. And he's saying, O oh foolish and simple-minded one, when will you learn? Wisdom is calling out to you today, my friends. The wisdom is calling out to you today to turn from your simplistic and foolish ways and sinful ways and come to Jesus Christ, come to God, who alone can set your soul free, who alone can give you peace, who alone can give you eternal life. Jesus Christ is the way. There's no other. Jesus save. Jesus is the way. Jesus Christ is the way. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that anyone that believes in him will not perish but will have everlasting life. Jesus Christ is the way. The salvation for all man is in Christ Jesus. There's hope, my friends. There's hope when you rely on God rather than your own scientists. See, look around you, my friends. Your scientists have not helped you. Your scientists have not helped you curve the wave. They have not. Look around you. Everything has failed. Everything has, that will fail has fallen. And God is waking you up today and to tell you to turn away, turn your ears off, unplug from the metrics that have taken over your mind. The metrics that have given you things to do, to be occupied with, but have not given you any true life. Jesus Christ is calling you today, for this whole world is lying in the power of the wicked one. The devil is the ruler of this world, the devil is the king of this world and he makes the rules and God does not want you to follow his rules Jesus Christ is the way the truth and the life no man can come to God except through him but the devil keep on blinding the world and telling them different things and telling them and murky in the water and telling them there is no God telling them that there is multiplicity of gods and there are many different ways you can get to him but wisdom is calling out on the street corner and is saying there is a god there is a way that looks good in the eyes of a man but in the end but death is at the end the wisdom of god is calling you today come to jesus christ come to jesus christ he is the way he is the truth, He is the life. No man can come to the Father today. You cannot come to God today through any gurus. Only through Jesus Christ. He is the Savior of the world, my friends. He is the Savior. The Savior of the world. No prophet that does not know or follow Jesus Christ can help you today. Can point you to the true and living God. No gurus can save you. No gurus can save you, my friends. Only Jesus Christ can save you. Only Jesus Christ can set you free. God is a spirit, and they that worship God must worship Him in spirit and in truth.